Recent mass shootings in El Paso and Midland Odessa have Texans divided on what to do about guns. Yeah, it's even sparked a fight between the Republican Party and far right lobbyists in our state. Here's David Goins. Tuesday might be one of the biggest breaks for Dan Patrick with one of his longest political allies over the issue of guns. After the mass shootings in El Paso and Odessa, the lieutenant governor said he supported expanded vetting for person to person gun sales. I'm a gun owner. I'm never going to sell my gun to someone I don't know. Patrick shared more on the idea, saying, I'm a solid NRA guy, but not expanding the background check to eliminate stranger to stranger sale makes no sense. That rift with the NRA is now filtering to the most conservative lobbying group in Austin, Empower Texans. Its leader, Michael Q. Sullivan, tweeting Tuesday, whether it's better or work wanting to outright seize your firearms or Dan Patrick trying to manage what you do with them, it's sadly evident too many politicians are all too willing to betray our Constitution in the name of their own political power. Patrick replied back, apparently you're fine with selling your guns to total strangers who can't pass a background check because they could be a violent felon or someone bent on mass violence, ending with, you are destroying our party. Empower Texans has given Patrick over $800,000 in various campaigns, but it appears that alliance is over now as the lieutenant governor looks for new solutions to prevent mass shootings. In Dallas, I'm David Goins.